Good evening, good evening, good evening, Murishani, Murivangi, Mzuile, Mudingai, Mgachiri, UAP, Recover 2, how are you? My name, this is, uh, what time is it? 22.33. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Miles Maria Sampa, a member of parliament for Matero Constituency in Osaka former mayor of Lusaka City, former provincial minister of Lusaka province, former provincial minister of Southern province, former deputy minister, minister of commerce, Trade and Industry, former Deputy Minister of Finance, a member of the Pan African Parliament, team leader for the Zambian contingent, chairperson of CAPA, Committee on Audits and Public Accounts, equivalent to PAC here. I'm here, dear colleagues and countrymen, to confirm a judgment that's been on my, in my favor. And before I go in detail, we were pushing for this matter last seven days, and it was in court today since morning, and it was determined about 7 p.m. I give credit to the judiciary uh, of Zambia for attending to this matter expeditiously. Allow me to introduce my lawyers and I'll let them introduce themselves, the ones that are here with me. They called me to give me the judgment and I thought uh, I should thank them publicly and also just narrow down to what this judgment is all about and what it means. Council, introduce yourself. Oh yes, my name is Ivan Mwenga. Uh, just a clarification. Uh, it's actually an order of injunction that we have obtained in that plant. And uh, <coughs> The, the, the orders that the court has granted are very clear. Just to restrain. Uh, Wait, before you go to that, yes. can you introduce yourself? I'm Shiva Ibanda. I'm part of the legal team that I've been working with on Ibo Klein. So his first name is Ivan, your first name is? Lever. And your company is called? Ivan Lever. Ivan Lever. Yes. Okay, so council, now you can go in detail. Yes, so uh, the suspension has, has been halted uh, by the High Court. So our client is no longer suspended. And not only that, the High Court also has restrained Honorable Linda and uh, Honorable Chilangwa from acting as PF president 
and Secretary General respectively until further order of the court. They have further restrained them from defending our clients in speaking any form of defamation and defamatory ways in windows. They have been restrained. And we are happy for our clients that the court has considered his application. I think I can end there. I will not go into too details as the matter is still in court. Thank you. Thank you, counsel. Uh, essentially, what this means, everything that was told about me suspended uh, is now void. All attempts that were made to stop me campaigning are now void. As we can see, other candidates are moving around. And when I move, moved around, it was a problem. Uh, so the people who, who northern province, Muchinga, Wapula, here I come. I just want to thank my lawyers for putting up a very spirited fight, a thorough fight. There's a lot of details in what they put up that we will not go into. I think they will be in court. Uh, and I think the public will be, there are many, many, many. So all the questions to those doubting Thomases that will be asking why, how, the answers are there. And uh, what's important is, as is, this institution that many of us love, it has no one owner. Anybody who joins this institution for peer, either you joined yesterday, last year, 2015, 2011, or 2001 like me, we are all equal shareholders in this institution called Patriotic Front. No one has more shares than the other. All of us have one share, one vote. And none of us, not me, not anybody else, owns this institution. It's all of you that consider yourselves as members. And it's an institution. All of us will come and will go. This institution should remain. And all of you, especially the youths that are members of this party, you also hold it, take control of leadership at some point. You also leave it. It should remain with your children and their grandchildren. That's how the ANC in South Africa, African National Congress, has survived. Since the death of uh, Mandela, the institution has remained. Presidents have come, presidents have gone. Chavo Mbeki came, he left, ANC was standing. Uh, Ngalema came, he left, ANC was standing. Jacob Zuma came with a ban, he left, ANC standing. Sirio Ramaphosa came with a ban, he's still around. Be assured he also leave, ANC will be standing. That's how institutions run. And when you start seeing it being personalized by anybody, it's a problem. So to all my supporters in PF, in all the provinces, in Eastern Province, Lusaka Province, Central Province, Western Province, my favorite province now that I fell in love with, Western and Northwestern, because of the experience I went through there, in Watopa, Lukulu, Katunda, Kaoma Road, it took us the whole night driving. So I, I got to born with that province. The people, the entire southern province, the PF officials in Luapula province, in Muchinga province, in northern province, in all the ten provinces, PF members, in general, those that support me and support other candidates, this judgment means 
go out there and freely campaign. We're even being stopped to campaign. What kind of democracy is that? Uh, why should somebody tell us don't campaign, don't campaign, don't meet delegates? How will the PF officials decide on which candidates they want to vote for if you are stopping them from interacting with the candidates? There's nine candidates that have applied. How would they, do they make a decision? So, should let to mingle. And the, they are all adults and experienced politicians, the delegates, on that voting day, they are meant to decide who they want. We never know who they want until they cast their vote and we count the ballots as the constitution of the PF. Uh, so to those who support me, don't fear, go out there, campaign in support of Mao Sampa. I'll come and see you. I'm coming to Nchinga. I'm coming to Central Province. I did Mumwa, Nangoma, Nimwembeshi. I was meant to proceed to Kawe, Nkushi, Chitambo, Ngawe, before Kapirimposhi, before that suspension was put on me. I didn't even know what I did wrong. And whatever I did, if it was wrong, can you look back and not see anybody else among us candidates who did similar? Or former MPs who held press conferences, even worse off. I just said, uh, Africa is facing fertilizer shortage of 2 million tons due to the Russia-Ukraine war. It's, it's a fact. Russia brings a lot of fertilizer to Africa. They deemed it no, you are speaking on behalf of uh, UPND. Um, what else? I said current ministers should not be ministers and give their companies owned contracts. I said it was happening in the former government. It's true. And I'm chairman of Africa Parliamentarian Network Against Corruption. They said, no, you are speaking ill of a former minister. I don't know what they did. It's none of my business. It's their business between them, LCC, or DEC, or whoever takes them to the police or to court. I don't know. I'm not interested, uh, but they are my brothers. That's why you see me, if anyone is arrested for anything, I run and they help them out because they're a brother. But to accuse me, and the worst accusation that really touched my heart and reminded me that these people, some of these people in top leadership did not mean well. Remember when I was in Chipata on the 10th of January, Honorable Uvinda acting president then is no longer, and Honorable acting SG Chilangwa is no longer, had a meeting in Chipata where they called all the district officials from Petaoke, Katete, Kaumbe, Usangazi, uh, Chadiza, Vubwi, Vubwi, Chipata, Lundazi, Chasefu, Lumezi, and, and elsewhere. And they were talking to them at a hotel or lodge owned by the provincial chairman, uh, MP for Kasenengwa, Lubusha, and they were there. Then the police came and disrupted them and ordered the meeting illegal because they didn't have a permit. And they dispersed them. Can you believe my colleagues, Onebo Chilangwa, was pointing a finger at me that he has information, me, Maosam, I'm the one who ordered the police in Chipata to, di to disrupt their meeting. It's me, Maosam, an opposition MP. What powers do I have to tell the commandant in Chipata to disrupt their meeting? He was even very sure. No, uh, the, the commandant in Chipata told me that Maosam is the one who told us to, to disperse you. And my own brother, <laughs> and I'm so hurt. I, that's honorable when there's some brother, older brother that was my mentor, I looked up to him. He believed them. Honorable Chandam Tare, remember, and Honorable Davis Miller, yes, you told the police to disturb this place. How? What right do I have?
me, the police should listen to Marosa. So in Solwezi, when I was also dispersed, or uh, the police came to my room and telling me not to meet people. So it's only uh, Bochilango who sent them. So when such accusation, and they all believed it, uh, then I realized something is wrong here. Um, these people, I don't know what I've done to them. And don't know when my own brother, the same people is embracing Chilangwa, Davis Muila, Kampiongo, uh, who's this other one? Mm, remember Chanda Mutare? It's true, I can tell them to their faces. They made his life miserable the last seven years, always lying about him to the president of the Roman power, always lying about me as mayor, frustrated me, even made me fail to deliver a Wi Fi due to lies. I would find comfort in, in uh, my brother, Honorable Vina, and we would console each other. Now he was so called acting, the same people surrounded him and started telling him lies about me. That me and reached the Zambia police to disturb his meeting. And he believed them. <laughs> then I realized, even my brother, then, Honorable Vina, there was something I didn't know about him. I, I just knew the good parts. They used to tell me things about him. I just, uh, then I said, did I really know this man? Me, I can tell the Zambia police to go and destabilize his meeting. An opposition MP, where do I even find the phone numbers? And he believed it. That issue ended in the Central Committee. Next year, I'm on the plane now here, he suspended me. Oh my God, fair enough. Thank God we have a functioning democracy. So. My friend Nune Bolubinda now, and colleague, and the former acting president, it turns out now we have conflict of interest. There's a, a court case where I am the plaintiff and he's the defendant. I, on one of these cases, I was the surety, so I'd like to remind him that next 48 hours, I'm withdrawing my surety. I'm withdrawing my surety from him. When we needed the surety, all those people, Bachilangwa, Bakampiongo, anybody member Mutare, they were running away. We were telling them, come and get introduction letters from parliament so you can go and be on able to be. They were all doing like this. Me, I got my letter and went and bailed him together with Onebo Karimu. Even when Onebo, uh, CK, Shimba Kamuli, yesterday, he needed the sureties. The other MPs, they ran away. They are not available. Me, I'm never available to help because they are my brothers. I don't know what's between them and the police or the cases. I'm not interested, but uh, I was always available to help them on biblical uh, beliefs. So, Honorable Lubinda, I'm withdrawing my, my surety because we are going to court. Please find somebody tomorrow to replace me, uh, those that you trust. Ask the same drunkard master, Chilangwa, to, to replace you. Uh, uh, because those are the people that have been lying about me and Honorable Winder believed them. Unfortunately, even when we were in power, those were lying about me as mayor and on the, the president then, Edgar Wood, believed them. There is this party called PF. We all arrived there, or a village called PF. We all arrived there, and as a member, all of us as one percent share. Everybody, even the one who joined yesterday, I was there since 2001. 2015, whatever happened, happened. New people arrived. According to them, PF started in 2015. They came and arrested the likes of me out of PF, frustrated me out. Then I came back after two, three years. The same people now said, are saying, we did you a favor. <laughs> so you go, you come from the village, you come at your home, you find children there. You yourself, you frustrate that child out and you stay there. And then they come back like a prodigal son, they come back two years later. 
The new one came from the visitor saying, I've done you a favor to come back. That's what I get every day. We did you a favor. <laughs> a favor? No. This is an institution. May it abide by its constitution. May it abide by the national constitution. PF is bound by the 2016 constitution, which has tenets that has to follow. Democracy is one of them. Free and fair election. Uh, that's the process we are going. In God's wisdom, I win at the next convention in March. Extraordinary to choose the president as per dictates of the PF constitution. In you, the wisdom of delegates. And I'm confident if you are going to play football in the final and you are Kylian Mbappe, you don't go there thinking you lose. So I'm going to the convention with confidence. And uh, God willing, I emerge victorious. Mine is to unite everybody, not segregate anyone. All of you, unite them. That's my, the skill God has given me. We unite under this home. Even somebody who will join tomorrow, even those who have gone, to encourage them to come back and unite and follow through the objectives of this institution. It's no longer a club, it's a society. It's no longer a club or a society, it's an institution, meaning it's answerable to the constitution of Zambia and its own constitution, not to individuals. So we just read what's in there. Anybody doubting my actions, get a copy of the PF constitution. Follow through what it says on how to elect a new president, or what happens when a president dies, or what happens when a president resigns. It's there. It's not me. We're just following there and stopping anyone that tries to circumvent uh, all that. So mine is to unify. But if the others, as happens anywhere, not everyone can like you as. Julius Malema says, we are just human beings, we are not money. <laughs> Only money is loved by everyone. But uh, if those who don't, uh, we're looking for a majority, and I'm confident I've met the bona fide PF delegates and officials in the five provinces, I said, Eastern, Southern, Northwestern, Western, uh, and, and part of Central, and I'm going to the other one, be it tomorrow or next day. And anyone who stops me will be contempt. Or anyone who tries to masquerade that they are the leader of PF will be contempt, will cite you. Or anyone who calls, or any agent who calls anyone that's PF in any constituency or district to discourage them from talking to me is contempt. And if you don't support me, which is democracy, you support somebody else, my message to you is continue, support your candidate, support them, and then they should also campaign. Uh, let's just not attack each other. I promise not to attack any candidate, and any candidate should not attack me. And my supporters as well don't attack any candidate, and vice versa. It will be the one that majority delegates, PF officials, most of you have suffered in this party. People have died in this party. Michael Sata died because of this party. And your children and relatives died because of this party. Uh, so you, it's in your interest that the party goes forward. Uh, so no one should stop you from campaigning for your candidate. If it's not Mao Samba, if it's uh, Chishimba Kambuili, it's Bran Mundurile, it's Mutote Kafuaya, it's Emmanuel Mwamba, it's GBM, it's Greyford Monde, if it's uh, Honorable Winda, it's a, it's, it's a notorious fact that he's also a candidate. If it's Muruwa or anybody else, campaign for them freely and no one should stop you. When we go to the convention next month and we are going, all of you delegates and PF officials will be given a ballot paper you choose that candidate in privacy, you put in there. And when the votes are counted, 
whoever gets more votes becomes the president of PF. Then we'll be abiding by the PF constitution. We will be abiding by the national 2016 Zambian constitution. Anyone doing this? No, we haven't opened the campaign. No, the parameters, <laughs> it's not in the constitution. We are adults. Anybody should campaign as they please. Um, that's all I have to say, to tell you this judgment, because it's the milestone. Make no mistake, sets precedent for many political parties. Anybody who tries to hijack, hijack meaning ignoring the constitution. There are all these uh, sermons, David, and all, everything. Anyone who tries to circumvent the constitution of any institution is an enemy of democracy and the constitution of Zambia stops us. If you're not guilty of that, then don't bother. Uh, to, to Honorable Chilangwa, I can only remind him that pride comes before a fall. And you saw how cocky he was. And I told him, but no, he, Power, you got drunk with power. So now, Bachilangwa, <laughs> go to court and defend yourself why you should be the, the SG. We have put our case. We've got the video there. <laughs> That's the video of my press conference. That's the evidence one, evidence two, evidence two, evidence three. Guys, the press conference here, you didn't The press conference of Mbulu is in there. The judges watched my press conference and watched his press conference. So everything is in here. So they will need to respond. The constitution is here. We put up a formidable case. Uh, we just didn't wake up. And they've looked at everything and they agree with my lawyers. So. To my supporters, continue campaigning and I'm coming there. Uh, the winner today is not Mao Sampa, it's democracy. Intraparty democracy. If they cannot be intraparty democracy, how can they be interparty democracy? Uh, so, may we go to the convention in March? And we will, mark my words. We will go to the convention in March in Kawe. All you delegates around. 10 provinces, district, and constituency, you are coming to choose who you want. No one will stop you. No one will suspend you. If anyone is calling you, threatening me, let me know. I'll go back to Judge Kateneko and we'll put them in the cells for contempt. So democracy is at play here. We are giving an example, not only to Zambia, but to Africa and the whole world that democracy can flourish in a political party in Zambia. And I encourage all those who have ambitions, who have not applied. The Constitution of Zambia says, of PF says, we can apply 24 hours before. That's what some we are banking on, to be doing clandestine campaign and then appear on the actual day. Come out in the open, pay that 200, the party needs the money, so that we, you campaign freely, and the, this candidate will win. And let me warn, I read about finance misappropriation. I cannot confirm or deny the money that we paid as candidates. 200, it cost me a lot. I could have used that to buy VITs for my kids or buy a small house. I put it in there and many other candidates. The total 1.8, there are rumors the money is not there. I don't know. As MPs. We pay 5,000 a month. We are 59 MPs, round off to 60 times 5,000. That's 300,000 kwacha a month. Uh, there is the story of selling the PF secretary to the new one on Bama Road, uh, sold $1 million to a Chinese. I don't know who authorized that. It's supposed to be the membership at the general conference. I don't know if it's true or false. Uh, my timely warning is that, God willing, I become PF president, I'll do an audit 
and anyone found to have misappropriated people's money, PF membership's money, I'll report them to the police and the law will visit them. I'll report them myself. Uh, finally, to the secretariat, the PF secretariat at the corner of Panganara and Mumba, run that secretariat as qualified administrators. Most of you have been there for years. You are hired to do a job. Your loyalty should not be to me or any candidate. Do your job and manage properly. But if you are also found being part of misappropriation of any fund, if it's true funds, you also be found liable. So conduct yourself diligently. Um, and if anyone dipped in the party money, please make arrangements to refund the party, quickly deposit the party account. Otherwise, they'll be in the forefront when I win. Because you are stealing from the poor people. When we lost, the structures are suffering countrywide. Yourselves, you were hidden after we lost. Me, I was stabbed. Nobody called me to find out how I'm doing. I almost died on election day. Did I get a phone call from any senior PF member to find out whether I'm alive or I'm doing? Nada. That's how selfish some of them can be. Can you imagine, as I end, because this was also very hateful to me, Kungo, who was Jackson Kungo, who was killed in Sorwezi on election day, I don't know the detail, was a personal friend of mine. Each time he's in Lusaka, he would call me as mayor to come to my office. One time he lost his mother in Mazabuka, he came, I gave him a bit of money to support him. Uh, later on he came, had dinner with him, with my wife, with MCC Glenn, uh, Kalimbe from Western, you can attest to that. Late into the night, so he was a colleague. Since he died, I never went to the funeral because I was also injured, uh, nursing my injury. This time, I found myself in Solwezi, meeting friends and relatives. No, I was campaigning, actually, meeting structure. Because the other candidates were also doing the same. But no one was complaining. They only complained when I started doing it. I took time to go to his graveyard to lay wreath and pay respect. Can you believe it? Some people got offended. <laughs> you, only Bolubinda got offended. No, why did you go there? Uh, uh, President Edgar Ungo already went there. None of us should have gone there. So even mourning, <laughs> I was enslaved. I couldn't mourn a brother. I had to get permission to mourn a brother. That's how much hatred came from the blues. How should you, I be ordered when to pay last respect in a town of a colleague I'd never mourned because I'd never been there. No, you shouldn't have gone there. We said no one can go there, and he was very furious. So I, I, took, I take great exception to that. None of any Zambian should order any human being, an adult, when to mourn and not mourn any of their departed colleagues, workmates, party mates, or friends. Kungo was a friend. I used to have dinner with him in Osaka and interact with him. But no, the then acting president took offense. No, President Lungu already mourned, so he shouldn't have gone there. I didn't go there and say I'm representing PF. I went there as Mao. I didn't go there direct. I asked the family if I could go. And uh, the grandfather to Kungo came, and the sister came to my lodge. They picked me up to show me the grave. So it was a family arrangement. So how do PF so-called senior people get offended with that. That's how evil uh, some of the people got to be, some former ministers. And they, as far as I'm concerned, most of them contributed to PF losing. I have a lot of admiration for President Edgar Lungo. He's my elder brother. We went through tribulation and trials when there was a vacancy when Sata died. There was a vacancy. Many people rose up as we did, and then we went neck to neck. But uh, we reconciled and knelt down to him. And we started working. 
But no, there are some former ministers whose only job like Sikazo. Sikazo, <laughs> His job was just was this Ubufi, Ubufi. And uh, uh, even in this time, they schemed to suspend me. I'm on the Central Committee, working past. No, there are people who are, who are just bad, and their, their role was to just make me, paint me black to any leader of the day. Paint me black to President Lou. Me and that, he campaigned for me as mayor, I was grateful. We started working well now, but they started painting me black. Ubufi. No, oh, my was the too, but I'm a, I'm a boost. I didn't even know when they break boots. I just wake up, boots have been broken. I don't know where the town clerk was getting instruction. Uh, no, he's not picking garbage in town so that PF can look bad. <laughs> there was no money. <laughs> it was not the mayor's job, it was the town clerk. I wasn't reporting to me, I was reporting to these same people like Rascal. Now, even in opposition, remember Mutare, Davis Chama, Chilangwa, unfortunately, even my brother Ruben also turned against me. In Chitoku, I have a IBEX. Mouse this, mouse that, painting me black. No. So hard enough. And uh, uh, my interest now is to contribute to making PF be democratic. And so that next month, the delegates choose by ballot the candidates of their choice. Greetings to the people of Katete, the people of Kalomo, Choma, Pemba, the people of Kaoma, Lukulu, uh, Mitete, where I went on the boat for six hours, the people of Mufumbo, Zambezi, Chaguma, Kasempa, Kabompo, Mufumbo, uh, Kalumbila, Mahinga, uh, Soluezi, Mwinilunga, Nikeleng, Mumbwa, Mwembezi, Nangoma, Greetings, Chongwe, Kapiwe, Lusaka, Victory is certain. Stay put, be confident, and I respect all other candidates. If you don't support me, campaign hard for them, and then we'll meet at the convention next month. Whoever is, will try to tell you, no, there should be no convention, just know they are enemy of democracy, and I will not allow it. We need people to come to Kawe and vote for a candidate of their choice. Council, you see, don't tell a, a politician to talk. We can talk the whole night. Thank you and congratulations. Lawyer, Wama lawyer. The next Eric Sirwamba. <laughs> the next John Sangwa. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you and good night. We judgment thingy. However, I tell you, come back to my stand. And also, I thank Bancroft legal practitioner, JM uh, advocates, and Ivan and Bevo advocates for a, a splendid job put up. I was with them over weekend, crossing the T's and dotting the I's, and their thorough lawyers. I think Maripoka certificate is here, here, <laughs> well done and congratulations, Tasa. Thank you uh, to the people of Matera, whatever I'm doing, in mind I have you. Uh, and whatever I do is for your own good today, tomorrow, and in the future. Thank you, God, and thank you, everybody. God bless you, and good night.